I found myself super overwhelmed this afternoon and I just wanted to share with you how I dealt with that because I think overwhelm is a feeling that many of you will experience from time to time as well. What I do when I feel really overwhelmed is I remind myself that the feeling of being overwhelmed, of having too many things to do, of having too many things coming at you at the same time, is actually not about having too many things to do or coming at you. Actually, the problem is a lack of focus. It, it took me a long time to understand this. So the natural inclination when we feel overwhelmed is, let's see if we can get lots of stuff done. At least that's my natural inclination. I know there are also people who, when they feel overwhelmed, they tend to run away and not do anything at all. But if you're anything like me, then if you feel overwhelmed, you try and go into overdrive because there's too many things coming at you and you want to reduce the list of things. You're, you know, you reduce the size of your to-do list, check things off, make sure that there are fewer things that you still want to do by completing tasks faster and faster. Well, not only is completing tasks not what makes you happy, it can also be really unhealthy and stressful to work harder and harder and harder. That's how I ended up burning out and that's how I think a lot of other people end up burning out. I would not recommend doing this. So what did I do when I, feel, when I felt overwhelmed this afternoon? I took a look at all of my projects, all of my tasks, all of the to-do lists I have, and I, I just made sure that they were up to date. So I call this reviewing my projects, but reviewing my projects, when I say that, maybe it doesn't mean very much to you. What that means is I just took a, a look at everything that I wanted to do and made sure I had it written down properly, that there weren't anything still floating around in my head that I wanted to do, that I didn't bother to write down on paper, right? So I, I did a brain dump, everything, get it from my from my head onto the paper. Well, in my case, it's into OmniFocus, my favorite task manager. So not exactly on paper, but into a system, right? Write it down so that I can remember later what I wanted to do. And by going through all of my projects, all of my tasks, having it all written down carefully, precisely, yeah, I didn't actually complete any tasks, right? I spent that time, maybe it was 45 minutes or an hour. I spent that time on organizing myself, really. And the crazy thing is that even though I didn't actually complete any tasks, so I, I didn't you know, reduce the problem of there were too many tasks, right? I created a focus because I looked at all the things that I want to do and I picked the, the top, whatever, five to 10 that I want to work on first, that have the highest priority for me. And then I, I rank those, you know, I, I ordered those by what I want to work on first. So I created focus. I gave myself the space to, and allowed myself to prioritize, to say, those things are important to me, but not as important as these things. So I'm going to work on these things first. And by doing that, I felt so much more calm. And that's not just something that happened to me today. This is what happens to me every time when I feel overwhelmed and I review my projects. So next time you feel overwhelmed, try remembering this one thing. It's not that you have too many things to do. It's that you're not focused. It's that you don't know what to work on next. So your goal should be to figure out what to work on next. And the best way that I know of to do that is to take stock of all the things that you possibly want to do, get them all into a system somewhere, then choose a few to work on next and prioritize. Well, hope that was helpful for you and enjoy the weekend.